What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be just taking a quick look as to what is coming Monday and again it is mostly going to be the cards as I said we're not going to be getting a massive update until the next 4.2 update which we should have some news on within the next week or so so let's see right so the databases have been updated and we do have a couple of these players here they are going to be called the European club selection attackers on the 4th of November which is of course Monday morning so Balogun is there Mudrik is there from Chelsea you also have a couple of players here at the back as well to be honest with you these these kind of players here now sometimes there's a couple of hidden gems in there but I do feel from all intents and purposes these players are literally just kind of like small little consolation prizes for the ultimate prize right and then that obviously means that we are going to be getting brand new legends as well and it looks like it is going to be Johan Cruyff Francesco Totti and of course, of course uh, Christo Stoikov as well, or Stoikov, is it Stoikov or Stoikov, everyone tells me that it's Stoikov, but anyway, my pronunciations are not to be, not to be uh, questioned, because <laughs> I can't pronounce anything, but these are the cards here man that you have, now as, as of right now we don't have the full levels, these will probably be higher than 30 levels, usually all the double boosters are higher than uh, 30 levels, but Stoikov is going to have agility plus two. And obviously, just looking at his base stats here, even if with the agility too, he's got pretty decent card, man. Even with just the manager booster, if you're going with even Southgate, right? It's going to be a nice card. I mean, you've got 80s in offensive awareness, ball control, dribbling, speed and acceleration. But, you know, tight possession is 79, curl is 78, kick and power 79, jump 77, balance 77. This is the only card of the three that actually doesn't have fairly decent physical contact off the rip. We'll show you that in a second. However, he is going to have some nice player skills. And to be honest with you, I have the free version of Stoikov, and he's he's pretty decent. I don't think that he's, like, going to be meta. I think that this player pack is probably going to be a little bit weaker, depending on how Cruyff is, uh, is, is kind of leveled up. But it's going to be a very solid card, depending on how deep you have to go. Even with just, like, a quick auto allocation here, and with the manager booster on him, you're going to have 101, 102 overall, depending on how you train him. Obviously, you get your 90 finishing, acceleration, balance. Everything is going to be where you want it to be. As I said, I wouldn't even bother too much about that. Uh, I would just get his dribbling up as high as you possibly can. And of course, you can always give him the extra booster as well. That will, you know, be either technique or, you know, agility or whatever you want to do, right? But he is probably the weaker of the three. Although, if he has 34, 35 levels, this guy could become the strongest because he might have the most levels, if that makes sense, right? Next up, we have Toddy. So, Toddy is down as a creative playmaker here. Um, he looks pretty decent. Again, he's got 31 levels. That will probably change a little bit as well. Now, he actually has phenomenal finishing in here as the player skill, right? So, that is going to be very interesting because he is down as an attacking midfielder. But he does have some really nice stats, including 81 finishing off the rip. And of course, just with the manager boost, let's just say that we're going to give him manager boost. We're going to give him the champs, which a lot of people are looking at. He's got the technique plus two booster. And of course, he's got those 31 levels, which will he have 31 levels? I don't know. I mean, he probably he probably will, um, which will be nice. So if we're just doing a quick little recommended build of him there, we don't need to go that high with the with the dribbling, to be honest with you. But still 95 there, low pass 91. Uh, 90 will do there to be honest with you uh, if we're playing him as an AMF the passing is all over the place at the moment I know people are talking about passing being 95 as a new threshold I honestly don't think it is lads I just think that when you are focusing on the passing more you kind of you know you make a little bit more uh, uh, put more attention into it right but what I like about this toddy is he's going to have some really nice stats um, straight off the rip including you know messing around here with his aerial strength if you want to get that to 84 and then obviously give him the booster that can go to 85 or else you can just keep it at 80 I think 80 is probably going to be enough and that's only two into aerial strength and that also frees up the fact that you can give him a little bit more passing shooting and have that 90 finishing 90 low pass all your uh, dribbling into the 90 zone and still be able to give him one more into dexterity, which will bring up his offensive awareness to 88. I would like his defensive awareness, oh sorry, not his offensive awareness there. His lower body, you can give him there if you want as well. Um, And, you know, it depends on what booster that you want to give him. But you can get kick and power at 85, speed at 85, uh, acceleration 90 and balance 91. It's a nice card, depending on how you train him up. And then last but not least, we have Johan Cruyff. Now Cruyff actually only has 27 levels in the DB right now. But even at that, boys, he is going to have an unbelievable card, man. If we give him even, let's say, De La Fuente, who's my favorite manager, with 27 levels, he's going to be 105 overall as a CF. He's down as a deep line forward, player skills, he's got everything that you could want there. And also, he should have a different skill as well, whether that will be, I don't know what it could be, but he should have a different player skill here as well, a showtime skill. 
which is the way it seems to be going at the moment. Like, just ridiculous stats, man. Everything is really, really nice about this card. You don't need passing if you're playing him as a deep line forward. And, of course, his speed, his acceleration, everything is off the charts. Like, I, I often think, right, offensive awareness for a deep line forward is huge if it's 90 or above, right? Because they obviously come deep. Think of Messi kind of coming in or Harry Kane coming in into the middle of the pitch, kind of attacking midfielder at number 10. And then kind of like running and gunning, right? Um, Cruyff is a player though, lads. I will be, you know, full full uh, disclosure here. I just have never been able to use Cruyff. I have multiple versions of him. You see these ones here. I have this version of Cruyff. I had this version of Cruyff. I just have never really got on with it, using him. I don't know if it's me. It probably is, to be honest with you. It's not you, it's me, Cruyff. Um, but it's a phenomenal card. I mean, 90 speed, 96 acceleration. Balance, you can even get that up a little bit higher if you want to as well, uh, to the 95 zone. And of course, you're going to have the the balance there is really nice. The kick and power at 85, uh, curl at 91, finishing at 91. And also, on top of that, this is only 27 levels, boys. So we're going to have more levels on Cruyff, there's no doubt. So we'll probably have an extra, maybe three levels here um, to either be able to get the pass into like 86 or 85 plus, or be able to get his... Um, physical contact up into the 85 zone like if his physical contact goes to about the 85 zone it's going to be huge and of course you have the double booster as well but that is it let's just a quick video today on the upcoming players let me know what you guys think will you spin or skip or are you waiting for msn of course we do have a couple of other packs um that we will be coming i think everyone is probably waiting for the dutch trio now that's probably the big pack that people are waiting for um and of course we also will do a video as well on the new uh barcelona pack that will be coming which will include the three boys so we'll do a video on that as well um and see what you guys think but let me know what you think about this pack and i will talk to you in a little bit peace